Welcome back to Descenders, and welcome to the canyon. I'm in Sedic with me again is Blank Tester. Hey, kids, how's it going? And Ramirez. Hey, how's it going, everybody? So we're on Area 3 of Career Mode. Again, made it there on this run after going through Highlands and then Forest. So yeah, it's the canyon, deserty. Feel the wind blowing in your face. Yeah, there's some drops, there's some cacti, uh, there's some canyons. A lot of cliff yeah. faces on this one. Yeah. Yeah. So this area, after the forest, this area really opens up again. Like, you can just see uh, around you and see in front of you mostly a whole lot better than you could in the forest. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean you can race around it, you know, top speed, because there will be <sighs> shit in your way, and... There will be, uh, this, this area does more have sections where the trail you're riding on is like the top of an embankment, and if you fall to the, either side, you're gonna hit something and bail. Yeah, th so this one is definitely, like, precise. the first environment that teaches you, like, even if it is, like, wide open, you probably should try to stay on the track or else you're gonna fall off a cliff somewhere. Yeah. 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 Oof, showing oh off there. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, some people can ride fakey like really well in this game. I can't. I I can't either. I, I was just trying that because I had again a bank of lives, but like, yeah, don't. Yeah, don't fuck around with it. Yeah, I. This is a weird one. That that stunt right there tripped me up so bad the first time I got there. Because, yeah, like, I, I wasn't sure what the timing was on that. But, like, once you get the timing, it's so satisfying. Yeah. Uh, until you immediately mess it up again. I That's say true. The, thing with, yeah. the thing with the tabletops is that I... Uh, 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 across the board, I'll gain confidence and then lose confidence again in those. Like, I'll figure them out, and then I'll try and jump onto one and just slam my guy into it and lose a life and lose, like, 2,000 rep and go, okay, I'm not messing with those the rest of the day mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of weird but yeah so then also compared to the forest which maybe had you know one or two unique stunt jumps uh canyon has quite a few so if you pick some high stunts tracks you'll see some pretty cool set pieces and setups yeah that, that's well kind of why just normal jumps, I that, that's kind of why i love canyon as my favorite environment in the normal career mode just because of the sheer amount of variety that mm -hmm. it has when you have high stunts on it. Like, cause there's there's tons of fun stunts to do on this one. And there's also tons of fun to be, like, you can make your own fun off track a little bit better because it is kind of hilly, and the hills are small enough to just be ramps. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad that you didn't get those clean landings, my dude. Dude, whenever I get clean landing challenges... That's like the one thing where suddenly when I get those, I cannot actually get clean oh, landings. Oh yeah, yeah, I've had that happen many times too, where it's like, I can pull clean landings off everything, and then the second I get that challenge, it's just like, you can't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, so here's, here's Kinetic on uh, Canyon. Ooh. Ooh. And, uh, hey, but you got the top speed! <laughs> yeah, you did. Honestly, <laughs> honestly the most reliable way no. to get those top speeds but I want to do this level without crashing. The most reliable way to get those top speeds is to get yourself careening towards something in a way that you know you'll die. Like, I am so bad at getting the top speeds and living mm. while doing so. Especially when you get to the final area and it, it you know, gets up to get 80 kilometers an hour, get 85. Yeah. Oh, I should mention kind of like the, the certain speed levels. Just what I mean by that is... Once you hit 50 kilometers an hour, and uh, metric is by default in this game. Once you hit 50 kilometers an hour, that's when you go in, start going at high speed. You start getting rep for that, and you can, you know, unless you're trying to hold the accelerator for an optional objective, you can let off the accelerator because you are not contributing to your speed anymore. Like, gravity is doing all of that. If you're going 50 kmh or above, you'll just keep doing that. 50 uh, kilometers an hour is also where you start getting reputation for going at high speed, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, I don't think uh, we've talked about the medic camps yet. Oh, well, medic camps uh, will give you one HP 
even if you don't do the optional objective when you complete them. So hey, if you do the optional objective and don't lose any lives, you'll gain two health. Yeah. Overall. Which is very difficult as I found because like a lot of the medic camps I've seen have just been like extremely difficult to complete. Yeah, like you notice this one was full steepness, full stunts. Sometimes the medic camps can have pretty average normal stats, and sometimes the danger zones can be pretty average and normal. But most of the time, medic camps and danger zones will, you know, be be tough, have yeah. high steepness or something. I mean, that, like that that's what you get with uh, procedural generation. Right. Yeah. yeah. So he got the optional objective. If he completes this one without crashing, nice landing. Uh-huh. Uh, then we'll uh, we'll get two lives at the end of this. Go from five to, you know, went to six, and then I believe when yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I went up to six just from the medic camp, it. and then yeah. yeah. So that means that the fire node tracks are the only optional ones where it is always well and the sponsors where it is always a certain set uh yeah steepness stunts mm. curves i mean yeah. besides besides those special tracks like the construction site uh right, right. but those don't hardly count i mean right oh yeah this is a kind of a weird uh yeah, yeah those are kind of cool kind of sucks that i got them on such a flat track yeah. Couldn't really do much with them, but... Yeah, th- those are a lot more fun when you actually have some speed behind them on that. Yeah, you kind of need to, like, tweak into them, though. Like, if you don't, you know, kind of turn your guy diagonal, I think you'll crash when you hit them. Yeah. Man. Yeah. This game's yeah. really pretty. Yeah. It's got a very yeah. subtle... Like, the, the skyboxes in this game are really, really subtle. Um, You know, like, in a desert... You're not going to see a lot of clouds. And whoa, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah, doing tricks in first person. Uh, oh. oh. I felt that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A- a- and also, like, you don't really focus on the ambience much, but you can turn the music off and just have, you know, the sound effects yeah. of you riding. And especially in the canyon. It's actually kind of interesting. Like, if you go up to one of those windmills and you stop and you just listen, there is, you know... A windmill sound? Windmill creaking. Wood creaking of the windmill turning around. Is that a windmill? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I always wondered, like, if that's also a windmill. Because, like, I thought windmills had to have, like, a building as the base. I don't Mm know. Um... If you go up to one of those oil pumping rigs, yeah, mm. there's the sound of machinery running. If you find one of those oil pipes, yeah, there'll be like the hissing of the, you know, steam coming out every so often. By the way, there is a Descenders Discord. Uh, right. That I just saw the little flags that said Discord on it. Yeah, there's a Descenders Discord. So if you want to hang out with people and uh, maybe play some modded uh, things, which we'll show off some mod... Um, mod levels later, but um, if you want to hang out with people and play some stuff together as a group, uh, you can do that. And that's one thing we did on stream a couple times, where um, Insetic would be streaming, but we'd all be... Oof, um, we'd all be uh, with him on the same courses, on the mm-hmm. same seed, you know, we're lobbied up or whatever, and so uh, how, how exactly does that... Is it like um, when the first person... Uh, beats it, the timer starts, or how does that work? Yeah, right, in multiplayer, yeah. it's when the first person crosses. Okay. Yeah, so for the multiplayer in this game, basically, as Blind Tester just said, yeah, you could set up a lobby and then, you know, start up a seed for career mode or career plus, or go to one of the modded areas, and you could set whether it's just like in single player and you have lives, or whether you have unlimited lives, so then you and your friends can just try crazy, stupid stuff. Like, you know, flying off the track halfway down it and trying to to ramp yourself directly into the finish line. Yeah. Sort of things. Um, but then, yeah, you're all basically going through a seed. The host is the one that picks the levels as you go through, you know, highlands, then forests, then canyon, so on. And... Um, 
Yeah, first person, once someone crosses the finish line, the rest have 30 seconds. Yeah. To get across. And if you want to see some uh, multiplayer, Insetic has streamed the game um, mm -hmm. several times recently. Um, the earlier streams, you're going to see us playing a little bit more rough, so you should watch the later streams. Uh, uh yeah. I'm, I'm trying to remember, basically, how many times have we done that? I think we've only done, like, multiplayer across career modes, like, with unlimited oh, lives true, yeah. and going all ballsy out and stupid, like, twice. And both times yeah. Ramirez has hosted since I hadn't unlocked everything yet. Mm, that's right. Yeah. yeah, maybe we should do that again. I don't know. Yeah. Now I can... You should do it with actual lives instead. Yeah. Uh, or without, you know... I think we should do it once be... with lives, once without lives. Just because, like, I think with lives, it's it's more of a competition between us. Without lives, it's just us going being. being now, now, can I say right here that the sunset in the canyon is one of the most gorgeous things in this entire game, in my opinion. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, yeah. Because you can see, yeah. like, you know, the 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 sunset is kind of an orange red. Well, actually, more like an orange yellow, but. Um, it really highlights the uh, the natural beauty of uh, the canyon. It reminds yeah. me of being out in, in you know in a real in a real desert. You know, got to yeah. New Mexico and just uh, check it out. You know, probably the canyon out of all the environments is the most I, I don't want to say realistic, but kind of that's echoing that same thing you just said, where it is the most kind of close to life. Yeah, because I've also been kind of out in this area, you know, lower uh, Ooh, or uh, wow, western, cool. not western, eastern California. Yeah, you know, east Cali, southwest, uh, yeah, Nevada, kind of where it is like this. Yeah, um, I also just want to mention that obviously I've customized my outfit and my bike to be this, you know, green color scheme, and part of that is that I have this reflector that I've unlocked from a run that leaves those trails behind me. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that is an item you have to get. Like, yeah, there's all kinds standard. of items and uh, there, some of them are, they're like, you know, a rarity system, but it's all cosmetic. Um, I mean, I guess the trails might give you some kind of advantage in some minor way, but like, mm -hmm. maybe like, I've, I don't know. I've, tried to like deck myself out in as much glowy crap as I can and see if that helps me get through like night courses with no headlight better and no not really because it's not like you you know illuminate you don't the illuminate the you. area yeah it, yeah it just basically I don't know Ooh. makes uh, it, it just basically makes more glowy shit for you to be distracted by yeah That's honestly crazy. that might actually make give you a disadvantage if you were yeah. you know if, if you've got higher contrast or brighter colors on your screen, that's going to make your eyes adjust to the bright colors, and yeah. you won't see in the darkness as well. So that that might have an effect. Those people, <coughs> Ramirez, who uh, play every track in a seed on the daily and, you know, leave with like 30 lives at the end of Highlands, uh, I think they probably just turn their monitor brightness up or, you know, I don't know, brace themselves, you know, put on their diaper or something. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> diaper on, gamma up, let's go! Can't confirm that's actually how it happens. So. <laughs> but uh, on that though, oh, I darkness. could actually think of at least like one advantage you might have from the trails, but it's not really an advantage you'd have. Like, I would think well. if you were playing like multiplayer, having someone with the trails might be kind of helpful if the person's like really good and knows where they're going. Yeah. I mean, if, if if they've got the trails, they clearly have played enough to to be at least decent, you know. So like a new yeah. player might be able to follow somebody with trails and 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 kind of go where they go. But of course, you'll end up making the same mistakes or worse. Oh my god, that was wow. That was scary. <laughs> but like, look at this. Like this this reminds me of like an old uh, like an an old western. Actually, you know yeah. what it reminds me of? It reminds me of A Million Ways to Die in the West, where oh. there was that scene where Seth MacFarlane and whoever else, I don't even remember who it was, I think it was Charlize Theron, they're, they're sitting in the desert, and for some reason the lighting doesn't look anything like actually like sitting by moonlight. Uh, and I remember thinking, man, this movie doesn't look like a real Western at all. Uh, 
Now, can I just quickly say something about this boss jump? Because this is actually an interesting boss jump for uh, the career mode. Because that's actually the first boss jump where you're forced to take the boss jump no matter what. Because there's no oh, way to get around yeah. it without going through the jump. Because the first two, you can actually skip it. You might not have been able to see since it was dark out, but yeah, you jumped the canyon. You could not get around that. But also, that boss jump, I think, is much more forgiving because you don't have a landing ramp that you have to hit. Mm. So pretty often, you could just go and, you know, you... Get close to, to what land. you wanted and still land it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we made it through the canyon, and so next we'll head to the fourth and final area of the main career mode, the peaks. See you then.